Welcome back Curry Crew. Today we have a delicious and easy to make recipe. So without any further ado, let's get to it. So guys, like always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Punch that notification bell. And without any further ado, let's jump into our recipe. So today we are making a garlic parmesan risotto. And although this dish sounds fancy and challenging, in actuality, it's pretty easy. It just requires some patience and some serious stirring skills. So the first thing you wanna do is get your vegetable stock nice and hot for you to use later on. So I have about three cups of vegetable stock here on the back burner and the reason I'm doing that is because I wanna keep it warm over low heat because when I add it into my dish, I wanna make sure it's hot. Feel free to use any type of stock that you want. You can use chicken stock, beef stock, fish stock, whatever it is that you want. I just happen to use vegetable stock because my family happens to be vegetarian, so I'm incorporating incorporating vegetable stock into this. In my other pan, I'm gonna add in one to two tablespoons of olive oil, and then I'm gonna heat up the pan on medium heat. When it gets warm, I'm gonna add in one shallot, finely chopped. So shallots are kind of like a smaller onion and they have a little bit of a sweeter taste, but if you don't have shallots, feel free to use half an onion. It will still get the job done. Give a quick stir and saute our shallot until it becomes transparent or translucent. This should take about one to two minutes if your oil was hot enough in the beginning. If not, it might take about two to three. Once it is cooked, we're gonna add in four to five cloves of garlic, finely chopped. We're making a garlic parmesan risotto, so obviously we want enough garlic to scare away any vampires that might be around and to give it a nice garlic taste. So give it all a nice little mix, 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 and cook out your garlic. We just want a little bit of a brown color on our garlic, not too much, we're not trying to burn it, you know? We just wanna make sure it's completely cooked. Once the garlic is cooked, we're gonna add in 3 fourths cup of Arborio rice. So this rice is a little bit different than regular rice, the reason being is that it has a higher starch content. So what that does is it allows us to have a really nice creamy risotto without it being watery or slimy when we start adding in our vegetable stock. Also, the high starch content helps bind the dish together and like I said before, make it really nice and creamy. So we're gonna start toasting our rice for about a minute or two until the rice has a different color on the outside than the middle. So it should take about two minutes max, maybe three depending on how hot your pan is. While the rice is cooking, I'm gonna start throwing in some seasonings. So I'm gonna start with some dried basil leaves and then I'm also gonna add in some dried oregano and thyme and then finally I'm gonna add a pinch or two of salt. After our rice is cooked, I'm gonna add in half a cup of white wine. If you don't wanna use wine or alcohol, feel free to use some white wine vinegar, or you can even use some of your vegetable stock. The main reason we're doing this is to deglaze the pan, which means that we're taking all of the flavors stuck to the bottom of the pan and incorporating them back into our dish. So give it a nice little mix, 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 and wait for the wine to evaporate. Once our wine is cooked out, the dish will look less watery and it will be thicker. This should take about three to four minutes. Once that happens, it is time to start adding in our vegetable stock. But we're not gonna add it in all at once. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ladle or two at a time and we're gonna start adding it a bit by bit. And the reason we're doing this is because while we're adding in our vegetable stock, we also wanna be constantly stirring um, our rice from earlier because you want to make sure that the rice can absorb all the vegetable stock and also start cooking. So you're going to keep stirring this risotto to make sure it doesn't stick to the pan and then what you're going to do is you're going to cook out that stock. Once it gets thicker and less watery, we're going to add in another ladle of stock. And then again, back to the stirring. So you're gonna continue this process until you've used all of your stock and your rice is cooked. So this should take about 15 to 20 minutes in total. And once you've incorporated all of your stock and the rice has absorbed all of the liquid, you'll know it's ready by one, tasting the rice to make sure that it's cooked. And two, when you're stirring, you can use your spatula and create like a line down the middle which keeps the two sides split apart before the rice starts falling back into place after a while, like you can see here. Once that is done, you can turn off the heat and then we're gonna add in two tablespoons of salted butter and mix, 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 mix. This will add a really nice butteriness to our dish. And finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in four ounces of shredded Parmesan and give it one final mix, 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 mix. 
You can plate your dish whichever way you like. I personally like to top mine with some red chili flakes, some extra Parmesan, and we're ready to enjoy. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you try it out at home. Let us know how it turned out for you and keep on cooking.